legislației. Vă mulțumesc! For the minute. Madam Gelling. Thank you. I've been working on this file since 2013. It's been an extremely difficult and technical file, and I'd really like to congratulate Mrs. Kavenbach for getting us to this point, and indeed to my fellow shadows for their cooperative spirit throughout our discussions. The official controls proposal was part of the review of the plant and animal health package announced by the Commission in 2013 with the intention of to simplify and modernize existing rules while strengthening the enforcement of health and safety standards across the agri-food chain. This became particularly urgent in the aftermath of the horse meat scandal. Negotiations on this regulation have spanned two parliaments and ten trialogues. I was very happy we were able to reach an agreement with the Member States under the Dutch Presidency in June last year. The agri-food industry is worth approximately 750 billion euros a year and employs over 48 million people, making it the second largest economic sector in the EU. It is absolutely critical that we have a dynamic and streamlined legal framework to deal with this. A more uniform enforcement of controls across a number of sectors and increased transparency, as well as taking a more risk-based and thus less, thus less burdensome approach to controls, is a very positive outcome. This should help to detect fraud more effectively by concentrating resources on areas where they are most needed. If someone is intent on committing a criminal offence, it will not be easy to legislate to stop them. And indeed, such intentional actions should be met with dissuasive and proportionate financial penalties. By giving Member States competent authorities strengthened instruments at their disposal, we can help tackle compliance in line with the level of risk, thereby avoiding unnecessary controls and administrative burdens for SMEs in particular. Before I finish, I must just mention the issue of mandatory fees which became a, a very difficult point of our discussions and negotiations. And I, again, I want to uh, congratulate Mrs. Kadenbach for her handling of this. I'm sure that Member States will now step up and make sure that they have the budgets available to put this into place. Merci. Vous parliez au nom du groupe ECR et maintenant au nom du groupe ADLE, Monsieur Simovic, pour deux minutes. Thank you, Madam President. First of all, let me thank the Rapporteur, Shadow Rapporteurs, Commission and the Council for a good cooperation. We were not, of course, agreeing in every moment on everything, but I think we have found a good compromise. 